But he was really a, a giant among men. And he loved his children. He loved his Iragatsi uh, Lashita. He dedicated the, most of his life to the betterment of, of the uh, poor, poor young people. He was a, a gentle man, but he was, he was a dynamo. He was just an authentic human being. Being a little guy, being a little priest, he was one of the most powerful men that I have met. Sometimes you hear others saying, he's a priest's priest. And all I can say was, he was a priest's brother. He was my brother. Monsignor was just like a very kind, approachable man. Però era buono, voleva bene i ragazzi in un modo speciale. Basta che parlava e tu rimanevi affascinato. Una persona che ha dedicato la sua vita, ogni istante della sua vita, ai ragazzi. Monsignor, I mean, he was our only father that we had. He was a man of great spiritualness, of wanting to help people, a man that was always um, ready and willing to go the extra mile, do whatever he had to do. My first thought was, it was not the thought of that I was going to, from then on, going to be, uh, dedicate my life to children. Uh, this wasn't feasible. I mean, I had my work in the Vatican, I had my job, but what I did think was that I would try and help these children by feeding them. And then, of course, when you're feeding, eventually we're feeding about 180,000 children in the various cities. But then again, you find that you're feeding them and you say, what happens now? They go off into the darkness. Where do they sleep? So the next effort is to try and put a roof over there. And you're still not realizing that this is all going to lead to the inevitable. That someday you're going to say, well, you just can't look at after children in your spare time. It just can't be a, a marginal activity. And so from then on, that has been my life. My first contact with Boys Town of Italy was through a friend of mine that had visited there in 1964, and uh, he just fell in love with the place, and he asked me to just send them a check, just because he thought it was the most worthwhile thing he could think of. And that's what I did, and that's how I got involved with Boys Town Italy. I first got involved when I was asked to be an honoree about 30 years ago. I was originally brought into Boys Towns of Italy by my father. Has been part of my life since I was 11, 12 years old, and I think it's gonna be part of my life until, and I'm sure that when I go upstairs, Monsignor is over there with a few of the guys and Maybe we start a boy stand up. You know. Two thousand years ago, a child was born, you know, to bring peace on earth to men of goodwill. And here, all over the world, men are killing each other. And the children who are the victims of this conflict are sleeping out in the open, sleeping out in the streets. Kids are not cared for, kids don't grow right, kids don't understand responsibility and respect to one another and what's going to happen with the future. So it's so important to, to realize that and it's, that message is something that I feel and I think about every day. The need for Boys and Girls Town will exist as long as kids are on the street and require help. Until a child is loved, until a child really feels that somebody cares for him, not because he has blue eyes and golden hair, but simply because he's a human being and there's something lovable in him. The Monsignor is a tremendous leader who led and organized orphans and young people in need, but also thousands and thousands of Americans and other people around the world to support his efforts. The Monsignor did something 
extraordinary and also very unusual in his day, which was to knock on doors in America and ask people that maybe he'd never met before to invest in his vision for young people. The Monsignor inspired everybody that he met, and he continues to inspire people like myself who never met him, but have come to know him through others. They gave us the privilege, if we could raise enough money, uh, to have a building with our name on it. So that's what we did. Monsignor called me up and uh, asked me for help, which I could not say no. He was such an engaging man, you know, and so it's very difficult to say no to him. Sapeva anche ringraziato. Molte volte diceva, ringrazio il Signore di avermi dato questi collaboratori. In comunità si ritrovano coloro che hanno perso la prima comunità, la famiglia. La comunità è il cuore di una persona nel quale trovare gli strumenti per crescere, istruirsi, formarsi alla vita anche professionale, inserirsi nella più vasta comunità sociale. Ciò che mi ha colpito è l'idea iniziale che lui ha avuto, cioè quella di far vivere ai ragazzi un'esperienza che è quella della cittadinanza attraverso l'autogoverno. Che a me mi ha lasciato il segno. Una volta c'erano due ragazzini che litigavano. Monsignore non ha fatto nulla, ma non perché non volesse. Ha semplicemente detto, lascia che litigano, quando si sono stancati smettono. He was a great ping pong player. We took a tour of the entire village. I passed the barn where this beautiful white cow was in. And uh, when Monsignor spoke to him in Italian, he came over and responded. <laughs> so he was a man who, who had done a great work. And yet every day he got up and had another idea of something exciting and interesting to do. Diceva sempre che la nostra non era un mestiere, il nostro era una missione. They taught him everything it takes to be a human being. Many of them have adopted a child, you see, in addition to their own children, which I think shows that they, the, the feeling within them you see, that they must keep on giving themselves. Whenever he came back, uh, uh, Memo, which was uh, the, the driver, with this big black car, come up Il Cortile over there, and you see 300 boys waiting for him. I think this is a great therapy with young people. Believe in them. And you believe in them because you're realist, because you know that they can make good if they only uh, have the encouragement and the patience day by day. But you know and I know that in the end it will, everything will turn out well. I think it's just, uh, in a way, a love story. And the children that he cared about, they were his stars. Monsignore, for me, was a person who has done a lot of good finché è rimasto in vita e continua a farlo ancora, anche se purtroppo non c'è più, perché quello che ha lasciato è, è oro. He just was a very warm, loving, caring uh, individual that um, gave his life for this mission. And uh, in knowing him, in knowing the work of Boys Town, I think you know Monsignor, everyone will know Monsignor. 